else but who else? Daddy be rocking bandanas like jewels. I got two well. And I'm a cool J's on my feet, but I stick with the two L's. Undefeated, for the time. But walk don't close, I guess it's like a time. Bring your bunny if you don't gather mind. Is that you rather die? I would rather die. Hi guys, it's Just Bounce. And I'm here with Wise One, Mike McGill, and Didi Kungu. K A K A Didi Kunga, the best is to say Bam Kunga. Nice, nice. Yeah. So um, let's get straight to it. Didi K is dropping his new single, Passenger, right? Yeah. So Didi K A K A Didi Kunga, the best thing to say Bam. Come on, yeah, yeah. Some me has to stroke my beard, yeah. Come on, yeah, yeah. Some me has to stroke my beard, yeah. yeah. Hey. Chicken, exorcism, finger licking. I met this girl on the weekend, got everything. My African, but I'm picking, but the ricking. I got a dickin', got a pretend, just to get in. I want the guy in my gazette, you know the crime is just a fantasy, so I reply. I'm the guy, it's not the lie, it's just a fallacy, it's a fallacy. Hi, hello. Oh, my dear, dear, sorry, I just drove my dear, dear. For nothing, baby. Hi and hello. Come and drive me, Gaga. Can I be your passenger? Can I be my passenger? Oh, my dear, dear. So, we have to stroke my dear, dear. Oh, my dear, dear. So, we have to stroke my dear, dear. Oh, my dear, dear. So, we have to stroke my dear, dear. Oh, my dear. Go ahead and tell us what it's about. First of all, I think it was a beat. Okay. I I got the beat. Funny enough, I got the beat as a birthday, as a late birthday present. So last year, my birthday is first of March, by the way. So last year, I was talking to this producer. He's been my friend for a long time, okay. and uh, he told me happy birthday. And I'm like, nah, man, you have to give me a gift. So he didn't for like for like four months, or five months, and then later he sent it to me. And then I started, I was thinking of different things. And then when the passenger thing came, it seemed like I was, I didn't, I wasn't ready to make a love song. Mm -hmm. So it seemed like I was going in the direction of love as a love, a love song. So I decided to bring in a girl to say, you cannot be my passenger, to now make it like, like I was being curved. First of all, nobody curves in okay? <laughs> <laughs> And uh, well, yeah. Uh, and I wanted to have fun. I wanted something I could, you know, yeah. I could vibe to. Uh, yeah, my guess is better. So, yeah, this is that's it. Okay. So, I guess we could call it a jammy jam. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, I have a big question actually. Yeah. What are some of the challenges that uh, you face as a musician? Uh, first of all, I think I think a lot of things are just expensive. Okay. So, um, promotion, and this is something Mike would know a lot about as well. Yeah. Promotion for artists, you know, to be. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I, I think you should tell him yourself. Okay, Mike, you tell me. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's my It's extremely expensive. Mm -hmm. Extremely expensive. I don't think if you're trying to make it, you know, it's something crazy you make it sound like music or something. That would be okay. So, you're making a song, I think that is what it's And you make people, you make people feel okay, shoot yourself out, mm -hmm. not making a song to use your phone. Okay, but you said uh, make it, right? So, do you mean like in terms of fame, in terms of mm -hmm. money, or just getting people to hear your music, right? Yeah, somehow, that's a ball. Fam. I think most artists really want money. Okay. Yeah. Money is the main I mean, thing. Is that, is that the same picture you got? Um, mm -hmm. 
No, I think we all have preference. So don't get me wrong, money is important. I, right, right, I, right, I, right. I, I just money. Um, I think money is important. <laughs> I yeah, I think that's where I might I might differ. But I think um, when you talk about fame, mm -hmm. I think it goes hand in hand with. So my thing is, I make some kind of music. First of all, I don't think I make pop music. I don't um, I don't make pop. I just make. I like to call it alternative because I don't want to give my kind of music a genre. I don't know what it is that I make. I just like I, like I make jammy jams. <laughs> so, so when I make songs, I want to make sure that everybody that can relate to this kind of song or that can feel this kind of song will hear it. Now the problem here is, I know some of my friends that would like the song. So if I so let's say I like that clip for you guys now, how do I know that there's not somebody in say Kano State that would enjoy this song. So my aim is or my goal is to make sure that these people, wherever they are, can hear the song. Now that's where the expensive side comes in because if I want that to be man in Kano to listen to it, yeah. then I have to put in some money to push it there to him. You know, and uh, you know that that's where it gets tight, that's where it gets tough. So I wouldn't really say money or fame is really the but the thing is but but then again to get it to these places, mm. you're definitely going to get famous as well. Like, if your music is going to be everywhere, you are going to be everywhere. Your close friends are not easy to get your songs. People don't know you guys because of that. Prophets are not recognizing this all the time. Yeah, that, that's it. Right. <laughs> Why should I download my guy's song when can do it? Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. Yeah, 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 but like, sending it to you is definitely a problem. Some of them don't have it, period. Like, it's not even. It's not because they cannot download or they cannot. They, they just are mm -hmm. fine as, as interested. Just I think that's what it's they, I don't think any artist has a problem sending his songs to people. Well, but you think it's it's uh, that they're not interested or it's lack of communication? Like it could be that. It could be anything. Because like, like I mean, what you say? Seriously, I, except you don't have uh, the kind of content your friends like. Yeah. For example, I see the reason why I should not have this person on my phone right now. Uh, but you can download it, right? I can download it. If I tell him the first time you guys want something, like I'm too busy to send it to you, wait a bit, and I'm like, wait, he's not sending it. I go, I download it. I like it. Okay. Yeah, no, I think he's just, you know, he's, he's on getting yeah, it. Yeah, it's easier yeah. if you're here, but yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it, that, that's fine. But, yeah, it's, it's, now I think to add to what you were ever saying, like the process. Mm -hmm. So, um, the radio thing, the bloggers, the, you know, the guys that try to do the live marketing, like the CD guys, Alaba. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First of all, before I go on and just make a blanket statement, there are some radio people that are actually very, like, the first guy that put me on, um, MC Bluetooth of Wazobia FM, Abuja, I didn't pay anything for it. You know, he, he just, he heard my song. At the point, at the time, was Mr. Lover and Get Down that had, that had out. And he called me, like, yo, like, I can come on, you know, I can come on air. And when I even went out, I was like, how much is this guy going to charge me? I don't, I don't really have that. And, you know, we did the interview and it was, yeah, it was cool. And then we just we went out later to chill, but like there was no talk about Because some people are more concerned about quality. Mm -hmm. So, and this is one who that's why I mentioned his name. Now, the next set of people, I will not mention names. But there was a time, I remember this vividly, I was going to a radio station. Um, there was this girl that recommended some people to me, so I was going. And she said, I was there when she called him. I have my friend, he's an artist. We want to bring his songs to you guys. And the first thing this people said on the phone was, does he have money? Or is he bringing money, something like that. So after the call ended, I asked that, did you know that they didn't ask if my songs were good? You know, they're just worried about if they're going to get money. And I think that's a big problem. Well, I think, um, I mean, from that point of view, for me it's like, that's more of the culture here. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So if that's going to change, then I think it also has to come from the perspective of young artists who are up and coming. They're going to have to do something different. Yeah, because sure. the radio stations, they don't really get it. They don't. And I think we're at the level, we're at the point where we can't really boycott it right now. Yeah. So you see what, um, so what we obviously we need to realize on the different stratosphere. But they can be announced that Queen Radio. She has her own thing. Eminem has a Shade 45. Now, the the thing with these stations is 
no matter what any other station does to them, they know that they have their own. So like the Nicki Minaj can be if you caused a lot of divides. Some people were now saying, okay, I'll only play Nicki songs, I won't play Cardi B, and vice versa. So, but these people are able to say, well, I don't need your network. You know, I'm, yeah, but I think we're not at that level where we can say, boycott this, boycott that. You can't throw, it, throw away the baby with the bathwater. Right. So we just, we need media. So, you know, we, we take it for now, but we know that something is wrong. And as we grow, obviously the conversation needs to just continue being had and then things will change. Right. And for enough, this story I'm telling now about the Mazobia and Full this was 2015. So yeah, but I still remember that because I know that this is not, these are not things you see every day. These are, these are aberrations, but the, the good side, so. Mm. Appreciate that, and I will send my music everywhere. Let me ask uh, Mike a question because Mike dropped a song recently too. <laughs> Mike dropped. Get it? <laughs> 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 nice. Yeah, Mike dropped a song called uh, Diamond recently, and uh, it's also a jam. So tell us about it. Jam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Diamond. I think that one came like. Uh, I, I wasn't really planning on dropping the song or even. Give me the song Diamond. Actually, when you open the book, this there's this composition and uh, I have this sorry, this G Dream like type studio, you know. So I had to compose in that studio and I never thought it was going to be that nice. Like you said, it's become like less than that. That, that, <laughs> that, that, that <laughs> is your best song. Well, you know, <laughs> I just speak to you when I hear the song. What was the inspiration behind it? Like? Sorry. Yeah. Just the beat. Just, just beat the beat that like, gave me that. Yeah, so, then, sometimes the beat that puts you, you know, in a certain then, direction. Then um, the Marik, the kind of lifestyle. Mm. Tell us about it. Tell us about it. Tell us about it. Because you're married soon. No, it's not married, but not really. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I. When I when I came to the studio, I, my my producer gave me a beat, so we walked. Well, it was kind of hard for me. It was really kind of hard. So I sat and took and wrote the song. Yeah. Who's the song for? Let me ask you. Anybody? Anybody? Yeah, like, 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 oh, it's not how. It's not like a love song, but I don't know. Okay. There's no much play to do. Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> so it's for the ladies. Play it safe. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah you uh, married couple. Are you a? Uh, can I can I ask you like, would you say you're a hip hop artist or an R and B artist? Um, okay. Um, you need to do a video to that song, man. I listened to that song on Valentine's Day, and I was thinking about the fact that a lot of single people might listen to this song, and they would just feel very depressed. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> I mean, you know, it's the kind of songs you listen to. I wish you were in love. Have we seen the Mike BK collaboration thing? Oh, it has to yeah, definitely. It has to definitely. He's yeah, yeah, he's please, please. It has to happen, of course. <laughs> please, I think uh, you guys should. But just know that the way a producer was pushing you, I will push you probably two times, man. Uh, so yeah, just, yeah. just, just, just be ready. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, last question, like, how do you plan to push it out as well? Like, you know, you talked yeah. about how he's going to push you some. Yeah, I, I'm still trying, though I have um, I have the song like six platforms okay. on my site. Okay. Um, I'm not done with the promotion. I'm still trying. So I'm, I'm there. My manager, I'm, I'm raising money for everything. So I'm just me. And now. Independent. Yeah. Okay, one quick question for two of them. Why are you guys independent? No record labels around, you know, stuff like that. Make the promotion thing easier for you guys and stuff. Yes, money. 
there. Mm-hmm. Just like this. Um, yeah, sorry, tell you, but it's keep someone is keep you know, keep you know, it looks yeah. like mm-hmm. he's rich, but he's not seeing it. Now when you come there, you see money. Mm-hmm. Talking about you, what you used to do because you're driving cars and stuff that you just forget. So I mean that doesn't only happen uh, here, I mean it happens in the world. Yeah. So. Yeah, like, so, a lot of artists sign to cash money and never really yeah because yeah, the course. end is money right sometimes Maybe. so okay first of all to answer your question um i have been signed mm-hmm. you know um, like when i did this other video i did that on that first motion records shout out to first motion by the way i came out of that deal uh last year i think in march last year because i think that's when my deal was up and i didn't really sign with them because well first of all i I'm happy, I'm happy with the, the exposure I got. I, at least I know what it is like to work with a label. Um, however, I thought that there were some things that I might want to do independently first. I, I might get signed later, I don't know what I'll do in the next few months. Right now, I want to see how much I can get going for myself first. So, but obviously there are the advantages, there are disadvantages. I'm coming to soon. But the advantage is obviously like it was easy I going to shoot my video. Mm-hmm. It was I worked with Princeton Beats, um, he's a Yanyash producer, when I did my song Focus. That was still under Flux Motion Records. So like I know they, they can they opened some doors for me. Mm-hmm. That's one side. Now the downside of a of a record of a, you're talking about cash money. Mm-hmm. Now cash money has the way, has Drake, has Nicki Minaj, top three. An artist like Chucky, you know Lil Chucky? Or what's the yeah, Lil or, Chucky, or Lil yeah, Twist? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now these guys are like seven or so with cash money. Now, How would you say that because Young Thug is in... You know, I, I didn't even mention Tiger. Okay. So when he was saying, you know, record label you're their like number one, or you can't be their number one when they have... You gotta be... But yeah, but so that if you're competitive, you could fight to like I think Tiger is competitive. He's not yeah, the yeah. top three. He's not good, but, but he, he sees he himself as it. yeah. He would. He, his name is good. What you say? Sorry. <laughs> 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 but yeah, like you have to first of all compete with these people, and Tiger is doing that. That's why we still hear about him. He knows how to promote himself. He yeah, to be that's an advantage and disadvantage. It is both. Bring out the best in you. It is both. Yeah. yeah. So if you're a competitive person, to bring out the best in you. I don't want to go too much into the little twist because yeah. I only heard a little bit of it. I mean, isn't like uh, Diggy Simmons just as good? <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, okay, let's, 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 let's talk about Let's be serious. Let's, yeah. let's, be serious. <laughs> let's, let's come back to where we are. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. You get to try to push this thing solo independently, right? For now, yeah. Do you have like a scene? Because you can't do it yourself. Right. I'm true. sure you did not do your art by yourself. No, I didn't. And I'm sure you won't do some of that certain things yourself. So do you have a team? Do you have um, a manager? Do you have people you That's the business side of music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in the business. I know. Side. I get that. I get that. <laughs> um, I do have a team, yeah. And um, we call it 3D team. Okay. I, so basically, they, they handle pretty much every other thing apart from writing my songs okay. and recording my songs. You know, sometimes, like, um, many of my beats are made by. DB Bem, his name is his real name is Dubem. If he doesn't like anybody saying that, I'll say it. His name is Dubem. Mama calling Dubem, Mama calling Dubem. <laughs> well, DB Bem makes a lot of my beats. Um, he didn't make one of this passenger, though. Um, this one is you no know, one saying. But um, yes, I have a team, and I so we, we kind of have this support system. You know, this is another, another artist in 3D team, and. Honestly. So you got a music team, but I mean, I think his question is more of like business wise. Yeah, marketing well, strategy. For you to be able to market yourself, mm-hmm. you first need to get your, as they say, house in order. Right, right, right. So like you mentioned the art, and obviously you need all those first of all, and then you can now put yourself out there. At that point, you can be you can be a working proposal. Mm-hmm. You could just be like, you know, this is DK, and this is you know, this is what I have, courtesy of your team. And then you know you can you can now decide to monetize yourself and all that. So same, same, same thing, same question. thing. Or uh, how does it put your house? You are really so do so do. You make your own. Completely independent or like independent. Oh, yeah. 
So what's your, what's your yeah. was strategy? Born, was born to my first. I mean, it depends. I I don't have a team. So moving forward, like, do you plan on staying solo? I mean, like, independent. Well, I have no one in the system. I think I think you want to be signed. Do you want to build a team around you at least? Why? 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 Like, I, <laughs> I really think you should. That, yeah. That's yeah. Really cool. yeah. I think you should also look into you know the business aspect for us. Okay, I think we should break right now. Yeah. 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 Ye